Hello. Hello. Testing, testing. <laughs> Test. Hello. Hello, just. Hello. Hello, test mic, test mic. This is a test mic. Test mic one two, one two test mic. I'm, I'm having hard time in uh, wait long. All right, I'm having hard time uh, having better connection. However, uh, let's try to just maximize what we can do here, right? All right. So for those who will be. Uh,
sandali lang ah Alright, I hope everything is okay now. Um, for those who are, for those who are, uh, tawag nito, for those who are still, uh, hindi pa online, try natin maghintay ng konti, ano, sa mga iba. I hope that we can have, uh, a really nice, <coughs> a really nice, uh, what they call this one, uh, interaction here in this live stream oo nga pala yung kuwan pala nito share ko muna ano <laughs> sa mga sumusunod sa akin sa facebook I'm now So for those who are having this, ano? I think tignan natin. May tatlo tayong concurrent users. Anyway, let's go first with the tawag nito, no? Doon sa shout out sa mga nag-comply ng mga lessons nila. Alright, uh, I th so, nag-comply sa mga lessons nila It's because yun nga po uh, or some few were quite answered the Kuiper lessons. Alright, medyo may hinang connection kasi tatlo kaming nagko-connect ngayon sa internet. <laughs> so, hello. Uh, good afternoon once again. Uh, I'm having this this lesson today because it's Sunday and I believe na it doesn't matter no kung anong araw ngayon because of the quarantine period hindi mo ma-feel yung week difference ng weekend sa weekdays. So I'm having this one today at Sunday. I uh, hope that uh, everybody is okay and I hope that everybody is doing well, no, with uh their homes. I hope that you're staying at home. So just uh an update of what is happening uh recently um for Benguet specifically for uh for tawag natin ito for La Trinidad we have already two confirmed cases uh, one is a 34 year old female and one is a uh, 6 year old female i don't know which one no kung taga saan sila pero it was just mentioned that one is from Poblacion and one is from Pugis now with that said no um i think tomorrow starting tomorrow uh La Trinidad will be having an extreme enhanced community quarantine no uh, not allowing people to go out no in and out of la trinidad for contact tracing at the same time um this is a way for us to be able to to still uh be disciplined enough to stay at home because I, I, if we get to uh, just cooperate with this uh mandate no of the government uh we hope and pray that this will uh will be able to to end this uh this crisis as soon as possible all right so we are targeting to to be back at school at april 13 which is i think 15 days from now so it's still a long day as long week no long 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 time na babalik tayo so that's the reason why we'll still be having our our quipper lesson as a way ganito so what I'm what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to maximize the, the use of technology. I'm even having hard time in trying to set up my my uh, the tools that I'm using for this uh, 
this live stream so i hope that for some viewers right now my, in my channel no um you can you can uh follow this one and you can you, you can interact with me i'll, I'll read your uh, your comment uh, your your i'll read your questions on the comment box no or kung magpa shout out kayo pero unahin natin yung mga yung mga comments right so uh for right now no the, the last topic that we had last time was your interact uh, interaction of the digestive system with our uh the digest of the digestive system to the other body system so in uh so far for uh, grade 8 we have uh, grade 8 e we have uh, six who finished out of 41 for uh, grade 8 d we have six out of 40 for c only one for b only three i mean only six and let uh, for sec uh, seven a uh, section grade 8 a we have three out of 41 now to the second to the last topic that the second lesson that we have the digestion of food so far good numbers but i hope that we'll be able to still accomplish this one more uh, we'll be understanding those people who are coming from the province no um some are actually even complaining about load wallets not anymore sold in the provinces at parigat nga bumatang tilod but anyway um let's try to see no and uh, here in your grade 8 e 7 out 17 out of 41 uh, 19 out of 40 td c has 14 grade 8 b has 18 um we have a 16 out of 41 and meron pa tayo po yung kwan yung pinaka first topic natin before we parted ways last time we have the organs of the digestive system we have uh, discussed this one when we were still ha having this one in the classroom Alright, so shout out po sa mga ito nandito. Si Ken Loy just answered today. Uh, Mr. Banug PM me actually, but this is already an expired lesson, but it's still okay. Uh, Miss Morales, Miss Santiban, sino pa ba? Miss Docaiso, Mr. Villegas, Miss Sangyao, uh, La Jackson, Bayanes, very good. But yeah, you answered the, the old ones, Mr. Bayanes. This is still the first quarter lesson. Miss Mayos, Miss Mr. Bumidang, Mr. Kadawang, Mr. Amboy. Alright, so salamat po sa pag, uh, pag accomplish ng mga ito. Mr. Beknan, Mr. Koyahon, Mr. Literato, Mr. Saidovan. Mr. Saldaan and the rest. So, hindi ko na kayo ma-mention lahat, no? Uh, ang dami na kasi. But, I hope that you could still continue to, you know, um, answer this stuff that we have here, right? So, right now, um, what we're going, uh, we're going to have a new lesson, no? Uh, in this case, we have your, uh, tapo. Alright. So, you have the disease diseases of the digestive system now for some some other sections i've already uh mentioned this one last time no if nakita ko kasi they were requesting of looking at something yung mga medyo kwan so i hope na kumain na kayo and sa pagkain niyo na niyan uh, hindi na siguro kayo maka, uh, mamaya mabibigla sa mga makikita niya all right so i i, I still let's try to see no and uh, Ngayon natin, bisitain natin po yung live stream. Kung pan iisa lang po yung concurrent uh, watcher natin. So, sana po dumami kayo. Alright, tingnan natin po yung sa Facebook ko. Muna. Alright. I hope na maganda po yung connection. I'm so also reviewing this one on my... Watcher natin. So, not so far so good. Sana po dumami kayo. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so far so good naman po uh, with this one. So, let's proceed no, for our lesson today. Now, our lesson is about the diseases of the digestive system. So, natapos na po tayo sa organs. Uh, the anatomy and the physiology of the digestive system. Um, we have the 
what they call this one uh, the process no? the digestion of food now last time what we had was the interaction of the digestive system to the other body systems uh, specifically we have mentioned about the nervous system we have the circulatory system we have the integumentary system and even the excretory system all right so yun po ang ang natin ang lesson natin so uh, we have the second to the last lesson today which is the the diseases of the digestive system so in, ano yung mga problema na na-encounter natin in terms of uh, mga diseases no anong mga problema sakit na pwede nating makuha if we don't know how to take care of our digestive system and the last lesson that I'll be reserving would be how to take care of your digestive system naman so let's go now here and let's talk about your digestive system so so digestive system po uh, we have your objectives at the end of the lesson you should be able to identify the effects of diseases on the digestive system so pag-uusapan natin po yung mga sakit paano natin makuha yung sakit ano yung pwesta lang sakit ano po yung mangyayari po sa pag meron tayong ganitong sakit so let's try to see some few photos no i hope that as i mentioned kumain na po kayo uh, hindi na kayo uh, mabibigla sa mga makikita nyo. Alright, so, first things first, we start with the upper uh, region. We have your mouth region or your oral cavity and problems that we may encounter there. So, we have what you call your tooth decay. Alright. So, meron tayong sinasabi natin sa tooth decay. Ito yung mga decay, no? Yung pag sinasabi natin decay, nabulok. Alright, so, may tendency na nabubulok po yung ngipin nyo. In that case, you get to see that here we have pits in the tooth crown develops as a result of the destruction of the enamel. All right, your 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 tooth has a protective layer called enamel. All right, yung enamel na yan po, siya po yung nagpro-protect para hindi po tayo sensitive sa mga kinakain natin. Yan po yung tendency ng mga iba pag kumakain ng malamig, nabiglang kumain ng malamig, like just like, let's say, ice cream. Eh, wala na silang masyadong protective uh, layer doon sa ngipin nila that they get to sense that one right away and nangingilo sila. So in this case we have your pits at yung mga problema no na nawawala yung mga enamel nyo. so very sensitive na yung ngipin nyo. All right? In this case also it says here that decay begins in the dentin layer of the teeth when the acid leaks into the pits creating a cavity. So meron po tayong iba namang layer which is called the dentin. However, pag nagasgasan po yan at natanggalan po natanggal po yung layer na yan. Um those acids, no, because we create acid also in our mouth that may leak in, and alam natin yung acid is nakakamelt po yan. In that case, pwede pong maging butas yan sa ngipin nyo and those yung nangyayari. So, you get to see here in this picture, no, yung ngipin at merong mga puti dito sa gilid. These are what you call your, no, yung mga, mga plaque. Ito yung parang puti na pag pumupunta po kayo sa kwan, pumupunta po kay sa dentista ito po yung binabarena niya at binibitak para matanggal po yan kasi no as years go by if you don't know how to ano, how to to do the correct way of your oral hygiene no food debris will be uh, sticking out and maybe staying there in the gaps of your your teeth and they later on they will be hardened and become your plaques. Kaya, nag-accumulate po sila dyan sa ngipin nila. Later on, ang dami na nyan dyan at tatamaan nyo na yung mga gums nyo sa baba. Alright? And dyan po, pwede din pong bahayan ng bacteria. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, we have your tooth decay. No? Ito yung sinasabi ko. Or tooth cav... Uh, kung ano? Yung sa sira sa cavity. Alright? Uh nagkakaroon ng cavity pala sa ngipin nyo, no? breaking down of the enamel and the dentin layers. Ito, kaya uh, some kids, you get to see that there are black part areas there because then again, no, wala na po yung mga layer na yon and to the point that be they become now cavities and bacteria may uh, stay there and later on invade and magiging marupok na yung ngipin nyo na madali na lang na nabibitak and later on kumakain kayo Bakit crunchy yung kinakain nyo na hindi naman crunchy? Eh, kasama na palang kinakain nyo yung ngipin nyo. Alright, I experienced that one actually. Alright, let's go to the next one. Now, we have also your, as I mentioned already, have your plaques already, a bacterial film in the teeth where acids are produced, causing the tooth decay. Yun po yung mga puti na nakikita natin kanina. Alright. So, paano ba natin maiwasan po yung tooth decay? So, pwede pong, no, yung daily brushing. Um, if you get to see the, the advertisement of uh, Colgate, uh, they 
sabi nila, magbrush daw tayo. That day kasi sinasabi nila, magbabrush tayo ng three times a day. But it's, it's not actually always the the practice because uh, for for the dentist, they also recommend that you, you always brush your teeth every after eating. So yung tanong, ilang beses ka ba kumakain? Gano ka kadalas kumain? So kung ganun ka kadalas kumain, ganun ka rin dapat um, kadalas mag-toothbrush, right? So, you get to see that in your toothpaste, no? Uh, merong, merong, kwan, merong sinasabi nyo with fluoride protection. You get to see here in this uh, picture that you have that fluoride protection, the use of, use of fluoride prescribed by dentists can also prevent cavities. Alright, so yan po yun, no? And aside from brushing, you can also do flossing. Uh, you get to see that meron yung mga pan, meron yung nabibili sa 7-Eleven na sa malapit sa counter ng mga thread, no? Or yung may ilo na nilalagay para tinatanggal yung mga in-between ng mga dumi doon sa ngipin natin. And at the same time, also pwede din mag-gargle ka ng antibacterial mouthwash, Listerine, meron din yung, uh, hindi ko alam po andito yung sa akin. Eh, I may have, uh, okay. alright, so, ano bang mangyayari, no? If you get to see that those plaques, let's go back to this picture, these plaques here will be accumulated over time to the point na hindi ka nagpalinis ng ngipin and dadami siya dyan and iipitin niya yung mga gums na yan. As I mentioned last time, um, bacteria can stay there under, no? Sa mga plaques na yan. So, anong mangyayari? Meron po tayong sinasabing sakit na gingivitis. Ito po yung sinasabi natin simply, this is what you call the inflammation of the gums. So, yung ngipin natin, no, makikita natin dito sa picture na ito, yung pink ones dyan, nung saan nakakabit yung mangipin natin, yan po yung mga gums natin. However, you get to see that, hmm, lintog na ito eh, yun di makal. Oh, kasi inflammation nga, nagmaga yung gums kasi nga, na either naipit sila ng plaques or meron ng mga bacteria dyan na Uh, nag-cause para maging inflamed yung mga uh, gums mo, gums natin dyan. So, yan po ang isang sakit na nakikita natin, no? Na some others talagang nakikita nung nag-wals yung, yung bunga nga dito kasi laki na nga ng mga gums. Alright? You get to see some more pictures here. No? Meron mga gum inflammation na ito. Dito banda, oh. Medyo umatras na ito. And these are white hairs are what you call your plaques. Ito yung dapat palinisin, No? Para wala yung mga yan. Alright. So, hardened plaques are what you call your tartar. So, to na yung dapat ipalinis, no? Meron yung isang video ng nagpalinis sa YouTube, no? Na 25 years na binari. Uh, hindi nagtutubrush ata yun. And binari na ng doktor. Uh, as in, pag tinitingnan mo yun, it's really very satisfying na nalilinis yung ngipin. Alright, so. Having red and swollen gums which bleeds upon brushing are signs of gingivitis. Or sometimes when you get to to uh, you brush your teeth and bakit white yung toothpaste pero bakit pag dura mo pink or red? So it's actually what happens there is maybe you you touch the gums and cause that one to bleed. Kaya nagmix noon sa kwan kaya pag dura mo reddish or pinkish yung uh, dinudura mong toothpaste. Right? So dapat ito, ito yung gagawin natin. This can be prevented by proper oral hygiene, uh, by brushing at least twice a day, flossing, avoiding cigarette smoking, even muma actually, no? And visiting, visiting a dentist regularly. So, stop muna tayo dito and try natin bumisita sa live stream natin kung merong mga questions bina to. Alright, so, so far, Um, wala pa naman akong nakikita so kung hindi man kayo naka live ngayon na nanonood I hope that I hope that uh, you're able to kan so sa so mga nag live comment naman kayo para pwede ko kayong ma shout out dito alright so mga special mentions sa mga nanonood uh, this is a public uh, public live stream as live stream kaya hindi ko alam kung grade 8 lang ba o oh, some other ones are actually also watching this one maybe my former students of grade 10 grade 11 grade 12 or mga younger younger years no so salamat sa uh, pagsusubaybay niyo dito sa live stream so let's get to continue this time so punta naman tayo sa isang sakit called consti 
occupation. Simply, no, uh, uh, sa, dito'y sao tayo, dito'y dyan na tabul niya. But what happens here is because this is usually a cause of irregular defecation. When you talk about defecation, the word defecation means yung magbabawas. Yun, defecation. Magbabawas. That's a process. That's the English term ug nagbabawas. Right? English term lang yan. So, anong sinasabi dito? Ang sabi dito as an adjective, irregular po. So, meron po tayong mga ibang tao. Uh, the tendency is pumipigil po na magating, maganitong pangyayari pag natatain na sila. Tapos, uh, pinipigilan nila kasi yung mga ibang mga tao medyo pihikan sa in terms of the CR. Hindi nakakapag-CR pag hindi bahay nila. Kaya pinipigil nila. To the point na pag pinipigil nila for a very long time, no na dapat sana inilabas na agad ang nangyayari po diyan it nagsestuck yan sa rectum sa mga intestines natin na tumatagal sila diyan until such time that i get to see here in the second bullet that the feces release is dry making defecation hard and sometimes painful in the lower part of the abdomen kaya nga dapat sana lumabas na yon pero kasi nagstay doon kasi nga nagdelay ka or pinospon mo yung pag CR mo eh alam natin na si large intestine is continually um tawag nito nag-absorb ng water until such time na wala na pong water yung yung uh, undigested food na dumadaan sa large and intestine to the point that they become so dry and they are hard now to be taken out so yan po yung nangyayari diyan so tendency mo niyan magsusuper sayan ka doon po sa CR so ang hirap po noon no um I think almost everybody has experienced this one, especially if you get to eat, uh, sabi nila, pag laging kumaka, ang dami mong kinaing bayabas, yan, kasi bayabas is kind of dry also, na pagkain, kaya ayun, no, ko constipation, kaya ang, la, ang hirap ilabas. Let's get to see some more picture here of what's happening to constipation. So, this is a disorder due to the excessive water absorption of feces by large intestine that causes difficulty to pass the thesis. Alright, so ito po. No? Para kang, sabi natin yung joke nila, para kang nanganak, tapos yung normal, siguro nanganak ka ng twins, quadruplets, quintuplets, or sextuplets, ganun, no? ang dami. Tapos, ah, nang hirap na hirap, para kang naglabor, na para ang hirap mong pinanganak yun, na lumabas, tapos success. Yan sabi nila. Alright, so, you get to see here, no, in this slide, that constipation, it is commonly caused by large intestine, removing too much water from digestive waste, making the feces dry. And low fiber diet and lack of exercise may trigger constipation. That's the reason why for people who are always staying in their bed and doing nothing, or for those people who are working and sitting uh, on their chairs and their desk for the rest of their time at work, no, what happens there is that they lack exercise. Now, we get to see that the body, that whenever you ambulate, naglalakad-lakad ka, or nag-exercise ka, it also will trigger and allow our, our, our digestive system to, to move and to be active to the point that it digests the food well inside the our, ano, our digestive tract to the point na kung nag-active sila at nag-digest sila, and ang nangyayari po dyan, it, ang dali nating ilabas yan. Kaya nga, wag po nating i-delay at nandali na lalabas. Pero for people who are sedentary, no? they, they stay at home, they do nothing, they 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 just sit on the, the sofa, and maybe you're doing this one right now, no? you're sitting on the sofa and binge on Netflix or whatever things that you get to watch. no Minsan po, kailangan po nating maglakad-lakad, kailangan po nating magpapawis. Kasi nga po, pag hindi po natin ginawa yan, no? it... Uh, our digestive system may be so passive to the point that it may not do its work and it will stay there for long in your, your intestines and constipation happens. Alright, sinasabi din dito na kailangan ng mga, ito yung mga kumakain natin ng low fiber diet. Um, when you talk about your fibers in your food, ito po yung mga hairy-like structures. Meron kasing dalawang types of mga fibers natin. Meron yung mga hairy-like structures na mga fibers. No? Pag kumain ka ng manga na, na mahinog, and mag to see, meron yung mga fibers na kinakain mo. No? Those are actually fibers. And when you get to drink also yung pineapple juice with, with the pulps there, no? those are fibers. So what does it do? Kasi ka medyo hairy-like structures sila. Ang nangyayari po doon, 
nililinis po nila. Para sila pong uh, walis na nililinis po nila yung mga bituka natin to the point na lin hmm? pag dumaan sila sa mga intestines natin, nalilinis na kabra, nababrush nila yon dahil of the because of the finger-like structures there. So, pag nalilinis po yon eh wala pong naiiwang mga tae po doon sa mga intestine natin, kaya linis na linis lumabas. And also to the point na uh, sinasama nila lahat, kaya hindi dry yung yung ano, yung yung feces natin later on. Uh, the other type of your your for fiber is actually uh, para siyang magnet, no? Yung fiber na yun na nagmamagnet ng parang hindi siya hair like structure pero medyo mag magnet siya. Na para siyang gel na pag anytime na dumadaan siya, ano yung mga sumasabit sa kanya eh dinadala niya to hang, until uh, mailabas natin. And that's also some point no na nililinis natin niya yung mga anything na dadadaanan niya sa digestive tract. Right? So advisable talagang dapat high fiber diet din yung kinakain natin. Where do we get this one? We get this one from um, fruits and vegetables. Right? So, somewhere about constipation, high fiber rich diet, pag hindi na talaga pwedeng malabas. Kasi nga, ang tigas-tigas na. Kailangan na po ng jackhammer. A joke lang po. Hindi po jackhammer. So, we have here what you call, no? these are medicines. No? Remedy for you to be able to to release this one by taking in what you call your laxatives. Ang laxatives po, um, dulcolax. Yan, pag punta sa sa pharmacy, this is what you call your dulcolax. No? So, Anong gagawin nun? Iniinom mo yun. Tapos, parang uh, pinapalambot niya yung, yung feces sa loob ng yung, yung digested food na sa GI tract natin to the point na pwede mo nang malabas mamaya. Alright? So, punta tayo sa next. So, meron po tayo. Ah? So, we're done with uh, your tooth decay. We're done with your gingivitis. And we went to your constipation. Now, let's go now to your diarrhea. Right? So, in your diarrhea right now, this is actually the opposite of your constipation. Pag constipation tumigas, sa diarrhea naman, para nang naging tubig at very loose. To the point na sabi natin, pag diarrhea, uh, let's go first to the second uh, second one. We have your, what you call your loose bowel movement. Alright? Loose kasi, no? Yung yung feces. Hindi siya yung buo. Loose. So, minsan, pag isip mo lang pa sa, sa isip mo na pupunto ka ng CR, hindi ka na umabot sa CR. Lumabas na. Alright, so may mga ganong joke, ano? So, it's commonly caused by viral and bacterial infection in the gastrointestinal tract. So, pwede po siyang cause ng virus, just like your coronavirus, though your corona is actually targeting your respiratory system and not your digestive system. And bacterial infection. Ito, nakukuha natin pag hindi tayo marunong mag-hand washing, your proper uh, hand hygiene, no? Ang hand washing, tapos kain tayo ng kain, Filipino pa tayo, eh mahirig tayong magkamay. And with those bacteria that we have here, we ingest them along and they go travel in our digestive tract. So, ano bang nangyayari, no? Pag hindi tayo naghugas, hindi tayo marunong maging malinis. And even to the point, no? Pag nagluto ko ng pagkain at hindi siya ganun kaluto, medyo hilaw, no? You still have those mga, different, mga bacteria na naiiwan po dyan, right? So, what happens there? No? Normally, our body, whenever there are invasions of bacteria and viruses, no, our body reacts to that. No? To the point that they release exudates. To simply put this one into an analogy of trying to drown, nilulunod po nila yung mga bacteria and virus po. So in this case, if we have your digestive system sa track natin at mayroong mga bacteria po dyan, Anong nangyayari dito? So, ang dami ng bakterya. So, si digestive system, uy, nakita niya, ang dami yung mga bakterya. Hindi ito maganda. Maglalabas siya ng maraming watery substance or exudates. No? To the point na pag naglabas yan kasi, what they're planning to do is actually to drown those bacteria. To the point na nasobrahan po ng gawa ng daming mga tubig po sa digestive system natin. Kaya pag isi-CR mo na ito, actually, wala pang trigger kasi nga very loose. No, kahit anong pigil mo, talagang lalabas siya kasi nga very watery na siya. Alright? So, ito po yung nangyayari sa diarrhea. Alright? So, makikita natin dito, no? Yung picture na ito, oh. Hindi umabot sa CR. Hindi na rin to target. Hindi na na target lock. In, doon na sa handle ng <laughs> sumabog. Alright? And you get to see here that your bacteria found inside your stomach is actually caused um, caused causing your diarrhea. So, it's an irritation of the membrane of the colon wall caused by bacteria. They send, uh, they send, 
Dysentery, uh, you have your bad diet, poisonous matters, and stress. Alright, so na, pag sobra din pala ang stress, nakakakos po din pala ng LBM. Alright, let's get to see some more. Alright, you talk about your diarrhea. No? Drinking plenty of fluids may help treat and prevent diarrhea. The tendency is that, no, diarrhea is not, is just actually yung, yung, yung sakit na yun. But, um, there's another thing that is related to it that will actually cause you for some especially for kids no mga babies uh, when babies are born um and you start to introduce food to them even milk no kay may, may may mga babies hindi po hiyang sa mga milk that's the reason why and uh, DOH uh even for us no nasa medical field that we we always encourage at student at students mothers sorry mothers to breastfeed their child right so kailangan po breastfeed kasi yung 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 milk po sa 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 nanggaling sa mother is actually ang pinakahiyang na milk para dun sa baby. Wala hindi po nagkukos ng allergy yun, hindi po nagkukos ng LBM sa baby. But because babies are actually still uh, tinatawag natin developing pa yung digestive system nila, eh hindi pa sila hindi pa nila kaya totally na mag-digest ng food. And you get to see that babies don't eat yet solid foods. Puro pa yan milk, milk, milk and uh, wet wet na mga foods no and that case kaya very loose yung uh, yung kanila yung stool nila no so anong nangyayari doon um anong nangyayari po doon uh, yung bata nagdi-dehydrate so yun po actually ang kinakatakutan sa effects ng diarrhea is actually the dehydration that's the reason why if you get to uh, have your diarrhea oh, so yung iba inum ng inum ng diatabs para hindi ano, hindi hindi mo ilalabas agad but the same time do not forget that you get to drink water and fluids actually mas maganda po yung mga sports drink no uh, just like your Gatorade um for some they're using what you call your oresol meron yung oral rehydrating uh, solution or oresol so you get to see it's the same one mentioned here you have your oral rehydration salts can replace water sugar and electrolytes lost in the intestine so hindi lang po enough yung 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 tubig po so you get to see that the difference between the water and the sports drink yung sports drink po meron po yung mga electrolytes no hindi lang po water may water may electrolytes po yung water po natin water lang yun eh eh whenever we have diarrhea and we get to release those ones there, no? Dahil sa diarrhea nga, we not only lost water, but also those important electrolytes. Okay, if we get to lose them, we get to replace them by drinking sports drink. Uh, we have your Powerade, your Gatorade, your Blue. Those are some a few examples of your sports drink. So, yun po, no? So, diarrhea. So, post muna tayo. Tingin muna natin kung meron mga questions sa live stream natin. So far, isa lang po yung nanonood pa. Uh, or baka ako lang yan sa phone ko nag live stream din at the same time I'm, I, I hope I'm doing good sa live stream ko nanonood pa uh, or baka ako lang yan sa phone ko nag live stream din at the same time Alright, um, di bale, if you have your questions, uh, you can you can put your comments, no, that I will be making another live stream siguro for this one, kung gusto nyo to answer uh, a few questions. Um, would you prefer, basa Facebook mo na lang ilagay? Um, why I'm doing this one in, in YouTube is that, uh, in YouTube kasi, uh, public ko sa YouTube ko and I want all my videos to be here in my channel. Um, hindi, hindi ko kasi masyadong trip yung yung videos ko, especially lessons and Facebook because then again, uh, hindi po ako ganun ka galing na teacher and nahiya po ako sa mga mga teachers na, na mas magaling sa akin and they get to watch my videos and uh, maybe they say that uh, I'm teaching uh, I'm not teaching well so para maiwasan po natin yung 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 tawag na to, yung mga bashing, so kailang, ganun po yung ginagawa ako. Anyway, let's continue. No? So, after your diarrhea, tingnan nga natin doon sa Facebook ko pala. Ngayon kasing nag-like. 
yun so ang dami pong ang dami pong tawag na to ang dami pong online pero hindi po sila online sa hindi po sila online anyway let's go back to our last one right so tapo no you have your those ones there so punta po tayo ng, naman sa another sakit na commonly na naririnig nyo this is what you call your peptic ulcers right and you talk about your 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 ulcer simply your ulcer these are your holes and in, in the linings of the stomach or upper part of the small intestine caused by exposure to acid Alright, marked by stomach pains and burning sensation. Na ito po yung mga problema ng mga estudyante na hindi po kumakain ng agahan nila. The problem is, no? Bakit pa pinangalanan na breakfast yung breakfast? Now, for for us to be able to understand that one well, kasi nga sabi nila, the most important meal of the day is your breakfast. If you get to sleep at night at around 10 o'clock and wake up at around 6 o'clock or maybe 5 o'clock in the morning, no, your body has not ingested water or fluids and even food for the last uh, uh, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for the last 7 hours that you're actually during your sleep that you're having your fasting. And because of that fasting, no, we need to break that fasting. Dapat stop natin yung fasting natin and kaya tinawag na yan na breakfast. Alright, so kaya nga importante yun kasi for students who are not eating in the morning, what happens is that you're extending the fasting that you're having. And later on, at the end of the day, or maybe in the middle of the day, you know, nawalan ka ng malay dyan, kasi nga, wala ka namang kinain pala. Right? So, what happens there? No, If you're going to practice that one again and again and again and again. Alright, so, anong mangyayari dyan? We get to see that our digestive system is actually an involuntary system. They still move without our brain telling na or uh, iniisip natin, oy, stomach stop moving. Hindi po pwedeng ganun. Hindi po pwedeng i i, -i sabihin ng brain na at sabihin natin sa sarili natin, oy, stop moving stomach kasi wala ka namang kinakain. It still con eh, it still continues to to move kahit po sabihin ng brain natin na ayaw nating i-move siya, talagang magmo-move yan. I get to see that in your stomach is continuously uh, doing mechanical digestion to the point that in this mechanical digestion that I have, no, may laman man yan or wala, talagang magdadigest po yung, uh, yung stomach natin. Alright? So, aside from your mechanical digestion, you have your chemical digestion, it will continue to release those acids and those different enzymes. Now, for people who are practicing not eating and fasting all the time, Anong nangyayari po doon? So, on this fasting all the time, nangyayari po dyan is wala na pong karga yung stomach natin. Pero to the point na it's still moving and releasing those different acids and enzyme, so wala po siyang madadigest. So, nangyayari po dyan, kasi wala siyang madadigest, sino ang idadigest niya? If you get to guess this one, no? sadly, si stomach, idadigest na yung sarili niya. So, unang tatamaan po yung lines po, yung walls po ng stomach natin. Nakikita natin dyan yung wall. Una pong natatamaan yun. No, so, namimelt na siya ng, ng acid and because of the mechanical digestion, no, nagagasgasan yan to the point na nagkakasugat na po yung stomach natin. No? You have now your wounds and your lesions or mga sugat dyan sa stomach natin and yan na po yung tawag nating ulcer. Alright, so, yan. Anong feeling ng may sugat sa loob na dyan? No? Ano kayo mangyayari pag hindi ka pa rin kumain? Posible bang mabubutas yung chan mo dahil sa sugat na yun? Yes, posible po. This is the reason why for, for students, no? Iba naman, natitipid kaya hindi ko makain ng umaga. But, breakfast is the most important thing, meal of the day. Alright, so, before you're going to go to school, no? you take your breakfast. Kasi meron din mga estudyante, sabi ni sir, baka gagawin nyo, sabi ni sir, uh, breakfast is the most important food of the day. So, nag-escape na nung first subject. Nung hinanap, nasa kantin ko makain. So, wag naman po ganun, no? So, for, for, for parents, for guardians, you should be responsible enough for your wards and your, your children to be able to, to eat first before leaving the house. Alright. So, 
Ano bang mga causes nito? Uh, usually painkillers po. Uh, isa po din yan sa mga sinasabi nating uh, mga medicine, no? Mga mga gamot po na nakaka very irritating po siya sa stomach natin. Kaya for for painkillers like your ibuprofen, no? Medical or your aspirin, no? Pampa kanto ng mga sakit sa ulo or ano sa sa alaksan yan, yung mga mga NSAIDs and NSAIDs natin uh, mga mahapdi po yan sa tiyan natin. Kaya as if you get to see that doctors uh and even nurses will tell you that you should eat first before taking in this uh these drugs or this uh these medicines because these are irritating to your uh, gastric lining or your stomach. Another one would be your eating ad eating drinking alcohol. So yun po yung alcohol no hindi po maganda yun. Uh, pag sobra. Tapos eating spicy food. Yun nga eh. Nagka, nagka, ano kayong feeling no na pag may sugat ka, tapos lagyan mo ng sili? <laughs> Do you may imagine? Alright. Simply like that. Put that one into an analogy of that one. Now, yung yung sugat mo nasa tiyan mo, you know, sa walls ng tiyan mo, tapos kumain ka ng masyadong maanghang na sili, maanghang na pagkain, that it will cause, no, na hahapdi yung tiyan mo. Later on, susuka mo yung mga kinakain mo. Kasi nga, nasasaktan na yung stomach natin so kailangan niyang ilabas yun. Alright, so peptic ulcer. Ito nga, no? examples of your painkillers. Ito, tumapink na ito. These are examples of mga, mga pain, painkillers. Yung mga pampatanggal ng sakit ng, kan, ng body natin. So, yun nga, alaksan, biogesic. Ah, biogesic ba? Uh, posible. Uh, ibuprofen is actually your medical. Yan, sila. Alright, so, wag po tayong basta-basta din mag-take ng mga, mga medisina na walang prescription galing sa doktor mo natin. Or asks anybody, no? Before you're taking in those ones. So, we have what you call your, another one would be your gastritis. But the word gastric, no? Or gastritis, when you talk about those word gastra, try, no? Ang ganyan na yan, it refers to your stomach. So, ito pong gastritis is simply what you call your inflammation of your stomach or simply your inflammation of the mucosal lining of your stomach. Bakit ba nag-inflame? Apa yung nga naglintog, Jay? No? Uh, apa yung nga nag, nag-swall? Swall ba ti term na di? Eh? Parang, parang nagmaga in the Filipino. Uh, the wall, inflammation of your, the wall of your, your stomach, um, that is what you call your gastritis is because of... Uh, <laughs> mga diff ko, no? Uh, just like your, the causes of your peptic ulcer, um, and also at the same time, uh, inflammation may be caused be because of unhygienic food that you get to eat, not washing your hands, at there are, are so, so many bacteria there in your, bacteria there in your stomach that uh, causes the inflammation. So, para maiwasan po natin yung gastritis, dito na po, papasok yung pinaka isang ini-enjoy yung iniinom na medyo mahal na maliit. Dito na po sinasabi natin yung yung Yakult, no? Now, talk about your Yakult. Yung Yakult po natin are still you're taking in bacteria. However, the the bacteria in the Yakult is actually a probiotic. Meaning po they are good bacteria that you get to ingest them and place them inside our uh, digestive system to fight off the bad bacteria. So, hindi po lahat ng bacteria po natin ay bad. No? Meron po din tayong mga bad bacteria, uh, good bacteria natin. So, we can ingest them. They are good bacteria that later on, no, they will be the soldiers of our, of our digestive tract that they will fight off the bad bacteria. So, makita po natin yung picture natin dito. We have your probiotic can help maintain healthy stomach. So, yung kay ko, no? Yung sa, uh, tawag po natin, yung sa, uh, so, Yakult po is actually uh, lactobacilli. However, it was uh, uh, discovered by Dr. Shirota of Japan. That's the reason why. That is specifically called your, your lactobacilli Shirota strain. Strain po na na-discover ni Dr. Shirota. Tapos, kinulture po nila yan. No? Pinadami nila. Tapos, yung pinadami nila, habang dumadami, yun po yung nilalagay nila sa Yakult. And with that Yakult, you get to drink that one and introduce the good, good bacteria. Alright? So you get to see that here no in this picture ito po yung itsura ng mga inflammation po na uh, parang mga pimples sa tiyan natin all right acute and chronic inflammation of the mucosal la- layer of the stomach wall all right So malapit na po tayo no 
Don't worry, ang malapit na pong matatapos to. Alright. Let's go na to what you call your indigestion. Or simply what you call your dyspepsia. Ito po yung sinasabi ng mga tao na hindi natunawan. Kasi siguro, more or less, grabe kong kumain. To the point na kain ng kain ng subo ng subo na parang hindi na hindi na nginangal ng yung pagkain. Kaya hindi po natunawan. Or for those people who are eating and sleeping right away, that during sleeping no it no pag if you're do, if you don't do anything uh your 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 digestive system become less of an active less less active na sila to the point na hindi nila idadigest ng maayos kaya nga hindi sila natutunawan so what does this cause uh, yeah uh, this is what you call your as a recurring pain or discomfort of the upper portion of the abdomen it's a, it is sometimes accompanied by chest pain called heartburn. So, because hindi nga natutunawan, and to the point na nag-stuck sila doon sa stomach mo, for example, now, as I mentioned last time, mayroon po tayong sinatabi nating mga sphincter doon, no? You have your your lower esophageal sphincter, na yung yung parang sphincter na nag, nag uh, di divide from your, your esophagus to your stomach. So, yun po. Nagbubukas yun, and that tendency is the acid from the stomach now goes up to your uh, your esophagus, which is not supposedly be there. Esophagus is not uh, is not built for acids to be there. But we know that there are acids found in our stomach that they should be just staying there. But sometimes, because of the indigestion or dyspepsia or kain, kumain ka, tapos talon ka ng talon ng talon dyan, the tendency mo para kang gustong sumuka, eh umakyat po yung mga acid, no? from your stomach now goes to your, your esophagus and sometimes at some point they will stay there for a while that acid will actually cause a burning sensation in this area of your your esophagus that's the reason why we call this one your heart burn ito po dito heart burn but it's not actually literally telling you that your heart is burning it's just telling you that the the place where in the burning sensation is happening is in the heart area, dito po na banda. Kaya pag yung stomach mo andito at umakyat yung acid, nagstay yung acid dyan, dito nga banda yung medyo a burning sensation or chest pain or yung mahapdi or nasaniit ng bagbagada. So, isulit na nga bagbagada nga, uh, kasta nga nagstay nga dyan, acid dito eh. Kasta nga napudot, nasaniit, nga napudot na saniit na feeling, heartburn, tit, awag tayo dito. Alright? So, apan tayo dito eh. Next, so, Indigestion preventive measures includes avoiding alcohol drinking. Ito yung bagsa sobrahan ng kwan, no? Na sobrahan ng alcohol to the point na hindi na kaya ng 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 chan. Kaya nga merong nagsasabi no susuka pero hindi susuko. Pero pangaasiyo, no? Huwag niyo nang abutin sa point na susuka na kayo. Saka niyo saka kayo titigil or meron yung iba talagang susuka pero hindi pa rin titigil. No, you that's actually already telling uh, your body telling you to please stop. I don't anymore i can't anymore hold this one so that's the reason why your body rejects it and sinusuka mo na yan but then again yung feeling po na pag umakyat yung mga acid doon sa, sa heart area mo no, you get to feel your heart burn so cigarette smoking also is being caused by as another cause for indigestion no and eating too fast or too slow as i've mentioned earlier all right so, I've added ones that are not found in your quipper, no? Oh, it's called your hemorrhoids. So, ito, bago. Na, iba din po ito, no? So, we're done with your indigestion. We go not your hemorrhoids. So, hemorrhoids is simply what you call your almoranas. So, anong yung nangyayari dyan? Ito po yung nagkakaroon ng kwano. So, ito po yung, yung anus, anal area. And there is this a swollen vein in the anus na actually talagang napakasakit ito. The that whenever even you sit you cannot sit for a long time is because of the painful area in your in your in your anal area that causes the this pain so yun nga po no ang tawag natin sa english yan is hemorrhoid uh, in our local term we call this one your uh your almoranas so uh, before going uh to the to the the worm part no uh tingnan muna natin kung Boy, pa ba yung stream natin? Alright, let's try to see. Kung ilan din yung nanonood. Alright, so I'm ho I, I, I'm happy that there are kano. I'm happy.
happy that uh, there were there are four viewers right now. And shout out kung sino kayo, sino man kayo. Uh, just say something here. And like I can I can shout you uh can do shout out of your names, no? And later on uh, this can this video can be reviewed. So pwede nyo i-replay uh, afterwards. So thank you for those who are staying with me right now. No? And salamat po ng marami. So let's continue with the last disease which is what you call now your colon cancer or simply the, uh, the the cancer of the large intestine now some few uh celebrities actually died because of this one we're in um, uh, one of the best example of a person who died this one is the late uh, president cory aquino the, the mother of chris aquino who died from colon cancer so what happens here in your colon cancer let me read colon cancer is a cancer of the large intestine or colon which is the final part of your digestive tract most cases of colon cancer begin as a small non-cancerous, benign clumps of cell called adenomatous polyps. Over time, some of these polyps become become na colon cancer. So you get to see that in your, your colon cancer, no, uh, this here that you're get you're you're uh, seeing are actually cells that do not look like the same cells of its surrounding. So if the cell that is supposed to be there should. Uh, Dapat kasi sa, sa body natin, kung anong cell yung nandyan, dapat consistent yan siya sa, um, tawag natin, sa environment niya. But, pag merong cell dyan na hindi ka mukha nung cell na dapat nandyan, ng itsura niya, more or less yan po isang cancer cell. So, what happens here is that in this cancer cell that you're having right now, it starts with mga, parang mga, mga polyps. When you talk about polyps, these are protrusions. Um, tingnan natin, think of mga big uh, pimples no, doon sa large intestine natin. Alright, so, yan po, dalawa po pwedeng, pwedeng mangyari sa isang cancer cell. It was mentioned here, pag non-cancerous, meaning benign, hindi po siya nagsispread. Hindi po kumakalat yung cancer. Doon lang po nagsistay. So, pag benign po, malaki pa po yung chance na mabubuhay po yung tao kasi you can just cut it off through surgery and stitch the large intestine and con reconnect them and you took out now the cancer cells. However, there are cancer cells that you get to encounter, they call malignant. So, sa malignant po, ang nangyayari po sa malignant, ito po yung mga cancer cells na kumakalat. Pag once kumalat po sila, no, in just one portion of your small, uh, large intestine, nandun lang sila, how many days, kasi para din silang mga virus or bacteria na dumadami agad, you know, later on, you get to see na, Yung, yung buong large intestine mo, hindi na po normal cell yun, puro na po cancer cell yun. At pwede po sila ma-extend to other parts of your body, maybe going to your small intestine, going to your stomach, and you die with that cancer. So, anong nangyayari po dito? Now, in this case also, sa, sa colon cancer, kasi nga meron silang parang, ito no, parang sumasabit dyan. Ang sige, ito si dapat malaki yung butas dyan. Pero ba, dahil sa mga cancer cells na ito, eh, may cause obstruction na hindi po dadaan, hindi na po makadaan yung mga feces dyan. No? So, hindi na po pwedeng dumaan yung mga tayo dyan kasi nga nabara na. Excuse me. <coughs> hindi po yung COVID. Um, I'm having my allergies. Alright, so. Pwede po dyan. Or, dahil pu pu lumiliit po yung, yung butas dito po, no? lumiliit yung butas dito po sa cells na ito, ang tendency po pag tumaan yung tae dyan, no? sasabit po yung mga ibang mga tae dyan po sa mga cancer cells na yan and may stay there, ang tendency po oh, dyan na po sila mabubulok. To the point na mabubulok din po yung parte ng digestive, ng, ng large intestine nyo. So, again, yan po yung nangyayari sa colon cancer. So, no yung, yung yung hirap ng mga taong merong colon cancer some other col uh, colon cancer patients are having another way for them no meron akong biology teacher way back in the university they came from where she has uh, ano tawag ng procedure na yun Binubu binutasan po yung large intestine niya na hindi na po siya nagsi CR po through the anus but then meron na siyang konting bag dito na doon na po dumalabas yung tae niya all right so dahil po hindi na no, uh, I think maybe there's problem mal malfunction of the large intestine that she cannot anymore pass out the the, ano, the 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 feces no 
through there. So, gumawa po ng butas yung doctor dyan through surgery. Tapos, meron pong bag doon na napupuno yun over time. Tapos, itatapon niya. Tapos, baba, na, gagawa ng bagong bag doon. So, mga ganun po. Alright, so, almost, this is actually the end of the diseases. However, I'd like you to introduce sa mga different, kano, different worms. Ito na yung some part na, um, na enjoy ng kwan or so dapat kumain na po kayo bago nyo panoorin to so we have what you call your pinworms as you get to see this is the feces and you get to see the two white lines there actually your worms uh, another picture here is actually this is a picture of the anus and you get to see that pinworms are actually present there ito yung mga problema sa mga bata dati minsan sumasayaw sayaw sayaw kasi nga tapos lagi lagi pong lagi pong uh, parang makatipo yung puwet nila is because of this pinworm. Kaya meron yung time sa hapon dati, no? mga bata dati, hapon, eh, sinusunog ng puwet nila ng, 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 ng lighter ng mga parents sila sa hapon kasi to kill the pinworms here. Alright? Uh, the next one would be the longest uh, digestive uh, worm that you'll be encountering by the name of the Ascaris. Or simply, we call this one your um, Ascaris lumbricoides, which is the, uh, tawag nito, uh, the scientific term. So, the largest roundworm can be found in the body. Uh, you get to see that this is during operation that they get to see Ascaris. Ito po, hindi ko alam kung talagang uh, na OA ba ito, pero tingnan natin. If you get to see, this is already your large intestine and they get to see many Ascaris here that looks like spaghetti already. Ew. Ano pa? Meron pa tayo sinasabing na tapeworm. Uh, maybe smaller than one. Uh, this is already your large intestine at napuno po ng parang lungganisa ng chorizo ng tapeworm. And lastly, we have your hookworm. Ito, maliliit sila na they get to hook on the walls. No? Kaya ang hirap nilang tanggalin. Ayan po. So, review natin. We have your pinworm. We have your ascaris. We have your tapeworm. We have your hookworm. So, ano pong common nila? Ano pa bang kinokos nila? So, it's simply all these worms are parasite that depend on the host or your body for nutrition. When we eat and drink, we expect that the food should nourish our body. Yung, yung mga nutrients na nakuha natin sa food, dapat ibigay natin sa mga cells natin sa body natin. Pero kasi nga, meron tayong mga parasites dyan na nabubuhay sa tiyan natin, imbes na yung body natin yung makakuha sa nutrients, sa mga sustansya na yon, kinukuha po ng itong mga bulate na ito. Kaya imbes na tayo po yung lumalaki, tayo po yung tumataba, tayo po yung tumatangkad, no? tayo po dapat yung healthy, ang naging healthy po yung mga nagnanakaw ng mga nutrients sa pagkain natin, which are actually this worm. So, you get to see that no, normally uh, in slum areas or in the, they don't practice uh, good food preparation, uh, good oral hygiene, good uh, uh, personal hygiene, you get this encounter that some kids, bakit po, ang payat-payat nila, pero ang laki ng siyan. Now, later on, you get to see na nagpalakay pala ng siyan, ay yun pa yung mga bulate na nasa siyan. This then again, supposedly, it should, the food that we get to eat and the, drink, the fluids that we get to eat should nourish our body, but then, ninanakaw po nung itong mga bulate sa siyan. Kaya sila po yung lumalaki, hindi po yung may-ari nung uh, yung, yung body natin. Kaya, they rather get the nutrients from the food we ate instead of being consumed by our body. So, so ito na po yung, no? yung, yung last part natin ng, ng lesson natin. So, we have those different diseases. You can just get to replay this one and watch again. But let's go right away to your key points. So, disease exhibits many different symptoms, proper hygiene. No, di bali, uh, I will be explaining this one. Let's get to see and, and try to Check your understanding. Identify what is described items below. So, ito, no? number one, substances that uh, dentists used to filling in cavities. Uh, haven't I mentioned this one earlier? Uh, Untaan natin dito. Ano ba yung finifill nila? I think they, they're, uh, there's what you call amalgams. Kasi yung dati ginagamit nila is mercury. But then again, mercury is a heavy metal that is poisonous to our body. And if you get to ingest that one, it will stain your body forever. That is what you call your bioaccumulation. Ano ba? Ito yung kan eh, pang pasta eh. 
And isn't there's no term here? Blah 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 blah. Okay, picture. Huh? And picture dito. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Normally, yeah, that's your pasta. Eh. Um, amalgam, I think, is the term. Dental filling, alright. Medication containing electrolytes and salts normally given to patients with diarrhea. Uh, this is what you call your your oresol, or your your oral rehydrating solution, or oral rehydrating salt. No, chest pains associated with indigestion. No, yung parang na iinit dito, nagsasaniit. Bahala kayo, hanapin niyo yan dyan. Medication used for killing bacteria. Ano ba yung kikil ng bacteria for medication? If you're going to search this one in the internet, this is what you call your antibiotics or antibiotics. So yung mga zin zin zin. Uh, Penicillin, uh, erythromycin, rifampicin, yan. Mga sin-sin-sin na mga terms dyan sa end nila. Commonly sila po yung mga antibiotics. A diet which help prevent constipation. So, ano bang klaseng diet? It's actually your high-fiber diet. So, high-fiber diet. Dapat high-fiber po para one. Tapos, syempre, huwag kalimutin yung fluids. Alright, let's try to challenge ourselves. Why does stoma contain protective layers? What will happen if these layers are damaged? Normally, you know, for us to be able to answer this one, normally your stomach has different layers because it needs the protection because of the acid that it has there for it to be able to digest food. You know? the, the acid that we have in your stomach is what you call your hydrochloric acid. And if you're going to look at the pH scale, your hydrochloric acid is actually a very strong acid. Now, without those protection there, la protective layers there, no? Because of that acid, it may cause the uh, or, or, or the layers of the stomach to be sloughed off or magagaskan to, to the point na pag nagagaskan sa yan at nag, nag -nip, hmm? naging manipis na yung lining later on to the point na mabubutas po yung chan nyo. And, yun nga, butas na yung chan mo. So, saan na malalagdag yung pagkain? Sa abdomen mo na. Hindi na, da, hindi na pupunta sa stomach, sa small intestine mo. Right? So, what hap will happen if these layers are damaged? No? Going back, this is actually uh, the cause of your gastritis and even your peptic ulcer. I get to research some more with that one. So, yan na po, no? Yung summary po ng lesson natin. Alright, so, um, sa, dahil po dyan, uh, I'd like to just emphasize that I'll be making on later the, the ano, the, tawag nito. I'll make on, on the, the quiz later on. Pero, I'm allowing you to watch and rewatch this video for you to be Alright, so. Ano tong what's out? Alright, uh. I hope. <laughs> Alright, so. I get to see some few. Uh, ano? <laughs> Yung mga nag online. Uh, Mr. Tamirai. Watch out. Watch out. What's out? Sino tong si Chong TV? Chong TV. Oh, Mr. Tamira and Chong TV and Mr. Julio Jr. Antonio. I hope this is Mr. Antonio of Section B. Parang Section B halos lahat. Uh, shout out sa inyo. So, I think Mr. Tamira is having his his vlogs also in his channel that you'd like to uh, subscribe. And also, subscribe nyo rin po ako. I still have 100 plus. Nauna pa ito mga sudyante kung dumami yung mga subscriber nila. Uh, I don't know who's this Chong TV. Kung sino ka man, okay, comment. Paki-comment naman ng kan, paki-comment naman ng pa pangalan niyo. Oh, so uh, is this is this Mr. Tamir, right? Mr. So thank you for kan, thank you for staying with me here. I hope na in the past as uh, the next few days uh dumami tayo, no? And um, mas makan ah si Mr. Daos ang Chong TV alright hindi kaya titirahin ka dyan ni Kong Kong TV, Chong TV Mr. Daos ayun so, shout out to Section 8 Benevolence. So, maging proud ka, Ma'am Jessa. Kasi sila lang halos. 
uh, halos na online ngayon. And and yeah, uh, I think this uh spe- this students of mine are doing their kan doing their tawag nito, their vlogs, their contents, no? So subscribe niyo rin. Um for those who are doing vlogs here, pag gusto niyo kan gusto niyo matuto din in how to stream, I can teach you how. So next time pag natapos po yung uh, quarantine po natin. However, um Inga po, uh, stay at home. Uh, you get to see that if you see the news in uh, Baguio, they have already arrested 171 people who are actually uh, violating the community quarantine. And starting tomorrow until I think uh, April 2, I'm not sure, or April 1, no? Um... Nandun po tayo sa extreme community quarantine because we have two more positive uh, two positive uh, uh, dalawang positive po na mga kan na mga cases here in our area. So dapat ma-trace po kung sino pong nakasalamuha nung mga mga positive po at makita natin kung talagang ipa-check natin no kung ano ba yung case na. Dapat sana hanggang dalawa lang hindi na hindi na natin dagdagan yun. All right. So yun no um Uh, yun na nga. Uh, I think I spent already one hour of having my my setup. Uh, I'll be announcing once again, siguro maybe. Uh, let's try Sunday ngayon. Maybe sa Tuesday. Sa Tuesday ako ulit mag, mag, mag-online for for uh, for live stream for the next con. Maybe for grade 7 muna tapos saka ako magagawa si grade 8. So, Guys, um, I know that it's kind of hard right now because of the quarantine issue or the quarantine period. But together we can heal as one for this. For this, and all I'm asking for the students uh, is that despite po ng uh, parang quarantine period na ito, eh, hindi po tayo magstop na mag-aral. Um, hindi pa po kasi bakasyon. Don't worry, you still have your two months of vacation that you'll be enjoying with no online lessons already. So right now, no, um, for us to be able to to flatten the curve, yes, that for us to be able to stay at home. In this case, we're going to use a technology for us to be able to 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 share. Paabot ko po yung lessons sa inyo. Uh, I know that hindi po lahat um, nakaka ng perfectly na nakaka Um, may internet po pero if you have the chance to watch this one so mas maganda po no na kantaya so then again um i think that would be all for day for the day uh sinubukan ko lang pong mag ano mag i'm i'm trying actually to tawag na to uh, set this one up no? using my phone as the video my laptop as my domain where well, i have my mixer here so just to be able to you know uh my biggest sign yung maayos yung yung live stream na ito so i hope that you get to enjoy you know, this one uh thank you for these people once again shout out kay Mr. Tamiray, kay Mr. Daos, kay Mr. Antonio. Sino pa yung pang-apat na to? All right. Panag-answeran and quipper. When? Awan uh, pa yung matkit dito na ramid ko nga na, na, na kwan, uh, questions. So, day. Good. Um, I will be announcing if ever to your group chats. Uh, yesterday, I was added in your group chat by Mr. Uh, was that? Mr. Sangyao? But I, I declined. No? Um, medyo hindi ko trip yung mga group chat kasi. Uh, just, I'm just I'm just uh, relaying the information to one person to be sending that one in your group chat for you to be able to see my updates all right so so ito sila so salamat section b uh i hope that you invite more mas marami mas marami ako man shout out next time so salamat po and i'll be ending this one so today no i'm also encouraging you to uh, this is uh, to 
to pray. This is sun. Uh, this today is Sunday for us for you to pray, and let's let's get to pray together. Uh, in our in our silent moments, we get to pray. Uh, para malampasan po natin yung crisis po natin. Alright, so once again, last na po ito. We'll be seeing each other maybe on Tuesday sa maybe same time at uh, more lessons you'll be encountering. So, then again, thank you very much for, for watching this video, for staying with me here in YouTube. For those who are online, thank you very much and I hope na dumami po kayo. So, thank you, God bless and please stay at home.